Hi, my name is Marcus Schmidt. I'm the Senior Director of Product Management at West IP, and welcome to Whiteboard Fridays. So let's talk about the SIP trunking scenario, the classic SIP trunking scenario where you have one uh, facility over here, and let's say that this facility is in Chicago, Chicago, and you have another facility over here, let's say this facility is in Los Angeles. So you've got these two facilities, they're all part of the same organization, they're just field offices, one may be the headquarters, one might be a branch. And typically what, what happens is they're connected through a wide area network that goes through um, some sort of a, we'll call this the WAN, and the WAN connection is an IP connection into that WAN. But the problem is, is that's great for all that calling between you know, Sally in Chicago and Joe in LA, if they're all part of the same organization. What happens when Sally needs to call somebody else or Joe needs to get a call from somebody else? Well, that gives rise to a couple things called PRIs, primary rate interfaces. And those PRIs are, are delivered through telecommunications companies, and those connect out to this PSTN, the public switched telephone network. So the PRI is a separate circuit, basically, that's going into the PSTN that then connects you to some outside phone that, you know, again, if Sally's calling someone or someone's calling into Joe, that's the way they get access to that outside world. Now what SIP trunking does is SIP trunking actually says, hey, let's go ahead and um, replace the IP connections on the WAN with a SIP trunking solution, right? So you have SIP trunking here. And then this WAN provider becomes us, basically. WAN becomes Maxis and Max Connect our SIP trunking product. And then we handle the voice interconnections out to the PSDN. So we have a master relationship basically between Maxis and Max Connect out to the PSDN, which means you don't need these PRIs anymore, right? The PRIs go away. We give you the ability to just get those outbound numbers or outbound calls placed through the PSDN. If an inbound number starts to come in, we can handle that as well. If you remember back to the discussion about the platform coming in through uh, Maxis and handled through that MARCS layer, that master authorization routing and control system layer. That's what decides do I need to send a call out to the PSDN or is a call coming in from the PSDN. So when you do that, basically you're cutting your circuits by half. You're getting rid of all your PRIs, you're adding in SIP trunks. SIP trunks are super efficient. You can scale them to meet the needs of your calling. So if you only need, you know, uh, 30 simultaneous call paths, you know, with, with PRIs, you have to buy them in increments of 23, so you'd have to buy two of them, 46, when you really only needed 30. You can be much more efficient in how you provision the SIP trunks. So that's our SIP trunking solution, and the classic SIP trunking scenario is PRI replacement.